Hey guys, it's Roya, and today I'm going to teach you how to derive the final velocity formula. Um, this is working off the assumption that v final equals v initial plus acceleration times time. And this we went over in a previous video about acceleration. So if we have this equation and we square both sides, we get v squared, and v by itself just means final velocity, equals initial velocity plus acceleration times time, all of this squared. Now, if we were to spread this out, if we were to um, multiply it out, we would get initial velocity squared plus 2 times initial velocity times acceleration times time plus acceleration squared times time squared. Now what we're going to do is we are going to take out, um, we're going to factor out 2 and acceleration. And um, acceleration's over here, and then we'll just have to divide this by 2 in order to factor out the 2. So this equals um, initial velocity squared plus 2 times acceleration times initial velocity times time plus acceleration times time squared over 2. And we still have acceleration in there because this is acceleration squared, so when we factor out one acceleration, we still have one left. And then we have to divide by 2 because we're factoring out 2. Now, what does this look like right here? If you go back to the final position equation, you can see that this is actually the formula for change in displacement. And the reason we don't have initial displacement over here is because that wouldn't make it a change in displacement that would make it a, a final uh, position. Therefore, this formula right here is a change in displacement based on both velocity and acceleration. Therefore, we have a final equation down here of v squared, and this is again final velocity, equals initial velocity squared plus 2 times acceleration times change in position. And this is one of the most important equations in uh, mechanics and kinematics, um, and therefore we want to remember this and use it in the future.